Now, before I read this article, there's another article which you guys can click on that just talks specifically about the alleged charges. Jersey City teen charged with beating, burning, five-year-old appears in court. Um, yes, Nibiru, in this day and time. Is Nibiru real? Yes, it's very real. Okay? Um, was Elijah Muhammad lying? Right? Because it wasn't just Dr. Malachi's New York that was saying it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was Elijah Muhammad who kicked the whole daggone thing off and probably people before him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you go out to history, it's people before him, but I'm saying as far as in the African, African American community. People will refer to as the Vulcans, meaning those who are of frogs or frog like people breaking part of the planet into pieces. However, the ruler, the rulers, the Maldictians are very large. The Maldictians are very large. The Maldictians are very large. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, Sasir Shalom to you other brethren, you followers of the truth, and let me say Shalom to the elect. Um, I want to go in this video here now, and I don't want to make a repetitive video on Brother Polite um, and we don't make these videos because we see someone fall you know and um, they're going through what they're going through um, but we do do these videos to, to bring light and bring truth that if it was of the Lord it would remain okay but because it's not of the Lord it will not remain because these are weird false doctrines and leave it to our people the more weirder the more people will come you know and brother polite had an issue when he approached the apostles and he was talking about the uh, the whale and um, Jonah in the whale and he didn't believe in the, the, the whale or the fish um, he didn't believe that. He just seems like is is cartoonish or some sci-fi, right? But according to what these guys believe, reptilians walking with endowed, you know, uh, with um, you know endowed penises and things like that. This is what they say. Um, planet the planet Nibiru, Nibiru. Um, Doctor York has taught it. Uh, I believe Elijah Muhammad, um, Brother Polite, I believe. I mean, he's just the offshoot of Dr. York. But remember, Brother Polite, as I said before, he, he takes everyone, he, could, he takes a little knowledge from everyone, and he enfolds it into um, his own doctrine. And, you know, these guys, this is what they do. They get these doctrines, and they make... They'll, they'll hear a doctrine, they'll go to seminars, they'll go to actually white people, you know, so-called white people, and they'll have seminars with them. Then they'll come in, 
and they'll indoctrinate the doctrine and then they'll flip the doctrine and they'll make it more exciting and package it with a bow ribbon on the front for people to take it, to accept it. Because after all, all our people are in a dire situation where they're looking for answers. And as we scramble to find our identity, and we believe as Israelites, people are trying to find their identity in whatever other doctrine that they have, you know. Um, this is the Nibiru Cataclysm, right? The Nibiru Cataclysm is supposed a uh, this, this disastrous encounter between the Earth and the large planetary object, either a collision or a near miss that certain groups believe would take place in the early 21st century believed in this doomsday event usually refers to this object as Nibiru or Planet X the idea was first put forward in 1995 by Nancy Leader founder of the website Zeta Talk Leader describes herself as a contactee with the ability <laughs> to receive messages from extraterrestrials and the Zeta Reticuli Re 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 star and system and uh, implant in her brain. What did it say? The system through an implant in her brain. So she had an implant in her brain and somehow she's able to contact with a, of a phenomenon, or, you know, of a aliens or whatever the case. See, this, these are the type of things, the scripture says, seek not that things that are above thy strength, right? We let the Lord deal with all that, with the, um, which we know to be angels of the Lord, and what they look like and everything else. We don't get into all that. We just know that the angels of the Lord, and they don't look like this man who rules, these, who rules the earth, right? Um, but they somehow, um, this guy, Dr. York, Okay, and you could say, well, he was a mentor for Brother Polite, and you kind of see the corruption out of Dr. York spiraling through all his followers. And anybody who remained engaged in his philosophies has also become corrupted, right? It says she states that she was chosen to warn mankind that the object would sweep through the inner solar system in May 2003 through the date was later postponed causing the earth to go to a physical pole shift that would destroy most of humanity right and you got Bible believers believe it or not who believes in planet X somehow they managed to take the doctrine of planet X and roll it into the Bible as well when clearly in the law he states not to worship or you know go to the things um, from the heaven above but this is what people do so it was supposed to occur again in 2017 and hasn't happened right so this is clearly a corruption a corrupted seed that you know Brought forth corrupt fruit. Let's get that in Matthew 7 and 17. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing, right? Sheep's clothing. These are all these guys too. Um, this brother Polite has something called the New Covenant. He gets it right out of the Bible. He creates something called the New Covenant and he makes himself a prophet. So to speak, he's not a prophet, but they would call him, uh, people have called him brother polite prophet polite I don't know it says but inwardly they are raven and wolves ye shall know them by their fruits do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles with a question mark you know do you want to actually reach in and get a you know grab thorns okay like go fishing you you don't want to you don't want to catch the crabs you want to catch fish Right, it goes on to say, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit, right? And this is this guy, Dr. Malachi York, right? He's been alleged, or let's say he's been charged with molestation 
okay? Now I'm going to talk about that a little bit because uh, I, you know, I haven't talked about that very much, but according, well, let me go here, molestation, molest, we'll see what molest means. It says to make unwanted or improper sexual advances towards someone, to force physically or usually sexual contact on someone. So. When you go to the ancient times, when we say that that happened, right, this was not the same rape as you see today. Women knew what the deal was in the ancient times when they were taken by a man, right? It wasn't like she had to really fight unless she was with a husband. And that's where you get these t terminology actual rape from because it's two different kinds of rape. You got a righteous rape and unrighteous rape, right? The unrighteous rape is when a woman has a man, because all rape means is to, to take, you know? You had somebody say they broke in my house and they raped my, you, you know, they raped me and took all my stuff, you know? Or you see somebody that lose a game and they say they got robbed. Does that really mean they literally got robbed, you know? They went in somebody else and robbed them? You could even say they got raped. Uh, from a, a, you know, that terminology of, you know, unrighteous losing. They wasn't supposed to technically lose, but they got raped, you know, meaning taken. And that's all that means. But the ancient days and the ancient times, you would have had to know that, you know, when a man came upon a woman and these situations happened, they wasn't, they wouldn't have been totally against it because it was the right thing to do to get married. You wanted to get married. You wanted to, um, you know, you helped your family as a woman, you know, you played your part, but it was time to be married off, you know. There were some arranged marriages and there were some incidents where if it happened, the, the, the man who did it had to pay the father 50 seconds of silver. It was just that simple. But in these day and age, in this time, the hypocrisy of the house of conscience, how they say we mistreat women, and then you see Serenetta, he's having an interview, you know, and their job is to smooth everything out and say, well, it's, we got to get the whole story and this and that. There's a statement of facts. All you got to do is read the charges. He knows that in this society, when he took that bag and he took all that money, he should know that you are not allowed to do that, and that's the bottom line. You know, you are not allowed to uh, molest the young women like that, okay, or take a young woman in this society. And you can call a young woman on the outside, but in the inside, this young woman is 14 years old. She has the mindset. Most of these women today at 14 years old have the mindset of probably a nine-year-old. An ancient woman of seven years old would probably have a more of a mindset of a 14 or 15-year-old today because of the education and how they brought up. You know, understanding that the mind develops as you get older. That's why when you're with, a, uh, you're married with someone, they, they call it growing together. Because you develop, when you're young like that, you develop physically, okay, and mentally together, okay? But this is why these Egyptologists, the Most High is showing his hand, not with just this brother polite, <clears throat> all these whack characters, Natural Tahuti, Sarah Sutton, Shaka Mose, you see all these guys, uh, you know, just having these troubles. Well, I don't know about Shaka most, but I know this natural Tahuti and this uh, this other woman from Baltimore from here caught with drugs, you know? You see this, 1 Corinthians 11 and 7, but against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against any man or beast, that ye may know that the Lord hath doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel, right? So the Lord put a difference between them. So you can't read Isaiah 19 and say, Oh, Egypt, my beloved, or Egypt, who I, who I love. But the Lord put a difference between them. So a lot of you guys, 
who follow Egyptology, right? You will go right on down with the daughter of Babylon in, in Egypt, right? Um, let's get one, one more one more scripture. This is Isaiah. What is this? Isaiah thirty-one and one. It says, "Woe to them, destruction to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in their chariots, trusting in the, the, the whole system." Okay, because they are many. I don't know, you see Polite take that money, he took that bag, he bragged about all the money he had. And again, we don't hate, and I'm not doing this video because I hate Polite, I don't know him. Uh, now I do understand that when you have so-called friends, and then you get in some form of trouble, the next thing you know that your friends are no longer your friends. Then everybody's quick to hate you and they haven't even saw the, saw the matter. That's why we say blame not before I examine the matter, which I have. You know, through the spirit, we've seen the statement, the charges. But you know, people are willing to jump on anything. It, we, we understand when you set yourself up to be a public figure, you know, this is what happened. Okay? But he trusted in Egypt. He believes he's Egyptian. Um, or whatever he is but like you don't never know what the hell he believes he's in everything as I said he jumps from doctrine to doctrine consumes the doctrine and bring forth a new doctrine and then he gets in all kinds of madness he, he I saw one video he talking about um, the, the something with Israel he went into the Bible and looked up the Hebrew word and everything and talked about a woman's breast, but he was way off, but he said something about a woman's breast. I don't know what it was. And people sat there all captivated. He could say what he wanted. He speaks fast, fluently, you know. He used his mind. You know, that's a good thing. But the problem is he's not with the Lord. So the Lord is casting all this, you know, he he's used the foolish things to confound the wise. We looked like fools at one time, but now look at us and look at him. That's all I have on that, Shalom.